net neutrality. Perhaps many of you have heard of it and the tussle over it. And perhaps you have let it slide from your consciousness because it doesn't seem like it could concern you. But lend us your ears for a few minutes and we'll tell you how India's telecos and telecom regulators are trying to pull wool over them. Did we have any problems till now? Actually, no. You have enjoyed the internet the way it's supposed to be, freely and fully. But in just about two weeks from now, April 24 to be precise, the Indian telecom regulators are preparing to recommend to change it all against you. So, what's the whole fight about? Till recently, the telecom companies enjoyed a great run in India, making tens of thousands of crores in profits over a long run as India grew to 800 million mobile phone users from virtually nothing. Focusing largely on selling voice minutes, telecos have been using VoIP to connect with other telecos and deliver calls using the internet. And given that the cost of VoIP is a tiny fraction of the cost of traditional voice calls they were charging, they raked in the moolah. But now, thanks to the likes of WhatsApp, Skype and Google Hangout, Consumers can get the same voice calls delivered at internet prices direct to their handsets. This has the telecos running scared. Their margins are eroding. So now the telecos want to charge for the internet differently based on how you use it. Telecos want the right to charge what they want, when they want and how they want with no logic whatsoever. In effect, if Atel doesn't like SoundCloud, but wants to push its own app Wink, it wants the right to offer that for free while charging you a bomb to access SoundCloud. So, is it okay to be forced to use only certain websites and apps based on ease of access rather than your own preference? So what exactly is net neutrality? Net neutrality means an internet that enables and protects free speech. It means that internet service providers should provide us with open networks and should not block or discriminate against any applications or content that ride over those networks. What you can do to stop it Few years back in the US, when the telecos tried to enforce the same regulations, the crowd over there stood together to protest against their rights to fair access to internet and the US government ultimately turned down and ruled strongly in favor of net neutrality. What made it possible in US can make it possible here in India and that's you. You can write directly to advocos at try.go.in and express your concern against the actions that telecom carriers are taking to restrict fair access to the internet. You can also sign your petition here. Let's stand together and let Try know that we all stand together against these big corporate giants and their vested interests. Let's show them the power of crowd.